To install React Native Image Picker, we're going to say yarn add React Native Image Picker. You could also use NPM if that's your preference. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and say React Native Link React Native Image Picker. And the reason we're running React Native Link React Native Image Picker is because this project has native dependencies, so we need to actually tell both the native iOS and Android project about those so we have full access to everything. Once this is done, you're going to need to make sure you run React Native Run iOS or React Native Run Android, as well as kill the actual bundler uh, before you run this so that you can restart the project uh, with these native dependencies linked. Whenever you change a native dependency, uh, you're always going to have to, whenever you change anything in the iOS or the Android folder, to get those changes applied to your project, you're going to have to rebuild the project, be it through uh, the command line or through Xcode or uh, Android Studio. And with the project restarted, all I'm going to do is actually uh, basically open up this app.js and we'll go ahead and restart, uh, start a new project. So I'm going to import React from React. I'm also going to import view, text, image, and button from React Native. We can then go ahead and create a new component. And here we're going to go ahead and render a basic view in which we're going to return a view. And in that button, we're going to, or in that view, we're then going to render a button. That button's going to have a title equal to choose photo. And then we'll set an on press equal to this dot handle choose photo. We can then go ahead and actually set up this handle choose photo function. And then from handle choose photos, where we're actually going to pick our image. And with React Native Image Picker, you can actually uh, open the gallery or image picker, um, or you can actually take a photo. Since I'm on a simulator, I'm just going to be uh, choosing a photo because I can't take a picture on a simulator. So what I'm going to do here is actually import image picker from React Native Image Picker. Then inside of the handle choose photo, we can go ahead and say image picker dot launch image library. You could also launch the camera as you saw there. Uh, you can pass some options. We'll go ahead and pull this out into a variable. We'll call this options. We'll just make this an empty object right now. And then after for a second argument to this function, we'll go ahead and put a uh, callback function in here. So we're just going to get a response back from here. And then we'll just log this uh, to the console. And down on this view, I'm going to go ahead and add some styles. I'll say flex one, align item center, and then justify content center. Okay, now we can see this button. So if I actually pull the debugger window, window over um, and clear this out, and then we go ahead, choose a photo, we'll see the actual photo gallery. We can choose a photo. And then we see this, uh, basically this information come back. And you can see we've got this data here, this basically a base 64 representation of the image. We're not going to need that. So just to kind of save on device memory, I'm going to say no data true as an option to launch image library. I'll go ahead and choose an image once again. And you can see we've got the file name, we've got uh, the actual URI to it, all this different stuff that we're going to be uh, using while uploading the image. So if you're demoing or working on Android, exact same is true, everything's going to be the same here. And one thing we can do quickly, let's actually store this into state. So I'll go ahead, initialize some state, and I'm just going to set photo to null. And basically with this response, so if response.uri, then we're going to go ahead and say this dot set state photo is going to be equal to the response that we just got back. Then down in our render, we can go ahead and say, actually, we'll go ahead and pull this off of state so we can pull state off of this dot state. And we can say photo if a photo exists. So if it's not null, we'll go ahead and render an image. The source URI is going to be the photo dot URI. And then we can go ahead and set some styles to it. We'll just set the width to 300 and the height to 300. I'll save this. And if we go ahead, choose a photo once again, you can see that photo now pop up. So we know we're actually getting the correct image and the correct uh, URI from that. So we can actually go ahead 
and start uploading that image.